I'm going to do a comparison between the Multimatic 220 ACDC and the Multimatic 215. The Multimatic 215 can be ordered in two different configurations. It can be ordered as a MIG stick only machine, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be ordering the combo part number 951674, which includes the TIG accessory kit. Let's get these things unboxed so we can go through all the parts and pieces independently and show which one's going to be right for you. So I've got all the parts and pieces for each machine laid out on these tables. I got the Multimatic 220 AC-DC accessories on my left and on my right I've got the Multimatic 215. On the Multimatic 220 AC-DC all of these accessories come complete when you order the machine. The big difference I see between these two accessories is one, the TIG foot pedal for the Multimatic 220 is the standard industrial foot pedal for all the rest of the Miller products. It's big, it's heavy duty, it has a lot of pedal resolution, and it uses the same 14-pin receptacle that's found on the professional grade machines. On the Multimatic 215, it uses this smaller foot pedal to control it when it's in TIG, and it has a RJ45 cord on it, so this machine uses a different type of connector. There is an accessory that you can buy that adapts this RJ45 plug to the 14-pin plug in case you do want to upgrade to the heavier industrial pedal. But as far as the pieces that come with the machine, it looks like the accessories are the same. You get the same TIG torch, you get the same ground cable and stick stinger, as the Multimatic 220 has the same ground cable and stick stinger. And I even checked the size of the cables and they're the same as well. So that's part of the accessories that are the same. You get the same MDX 100 MIG gun in both units. And with the Multimatic 215, you get this as the standard regulator in the box with the machine. When you order the TIG accessory package, you do get a slightly different regulator for the TIG setup that has two fittings on both ends. Okay. Slightly different there. With the Multimatic 220, you get two of the same type regulator. Okay. The gas hoses are also the same. So I don't think that makes a difference. The body of the actual regulators look to be the same, but the only difference I see here is that one of them has a barb fitting and the other one has a flare fitting. Other than that, the rest of the accessories are all the same. So I think the big difference here between the two machines in my eyes is the fact that the Multimatic 220 includes the industrial foot pedal. And for me, that means a lot because that means that all the industrial accessories will also work with the Multimatic 220 ACDC. So let's clear the tables of all the accessories and let's put the machines on the tables and take a look at them. After unboxing the machines and looking at the specifications for each, they both have the same minimum and maximum amperage ranges in all processes, except the Multimatic 220 AC-DC has AC in the TIG mode, as well as DC. The Multimatic 215 only has DC in its TIG mode. Both machines have a similar auto set feature where you can select a material thickness and the machine will put you in a weldable range and give you an adjustment within that range that doesn't allow you to get outside of a weldable condition. The Multimatic 220 AC-DC also has a unique feature called Quick Tech. I could be using the MIG gun and then simply set the MIG gun down, pick up my TIG torch and step on the foot pedal and the machine will automatically switch processes for me. The Multimatic 215 doesn't have that capability and again you have to go to the front of the machine and actually change the process location and possibly even change the leads on the front of the machine. Both machines are capable of running a spool gun. I would recommend the Spoolmate 150 over the Spoolmate 100 only because it's a heavier duty piece, it uses heavier contact tips, 
which allows you to weld a little thicker material, and it has a longer cable. The Multimatic 215 with the TIG kits runs in at about $800 to $900 less than the Multimatic 220 ACDC. If you were going to try and compare the two or upgrade your Multimatic 215 to a little heavier duty foot pedal with the adapter cord, you're going to be into that adjustment right there for a few hundred dollars and that's going to get you closer to the price of this machine. If you're only looking for a MIG stick unit or primarily MIG welding, but you really like the integration of the digital meters and the AutoSet Elite, the Multimatic 215 is an excellent choice because it does give you the ability to adjust that voltage infinitely within the voltage range. If you're looking for 17.2 volts, you can dial that in quite easily with this machine. This is an easy upgrade for me if you're looking at the difference between a Millermatic 211 and a Multimatic 215 if you're primarily doing MIG. If you're only going to be doing TIG in the DC mode, the Multimatic 215 also has that great smooth DC inverter TIG arc. The Multimatic 220 ACDC has that same engine, but it does have an additional inverter engine to give you the AC output. Both machines use the same high quality cast aluminum drive assembly and the same spool hub assembly. Both machines are capable of running on 240 volt or 120 volt input power by using the Miller multi-voltage plug. You can simply change from 240 to 120 by unscrewing the collar, removing one plug, and installing the other. The machine automatically sets itself. So in closing, you're going to have to ask yourself, which machine is right for me? If you're looking for a machine that's just going to be a step up from the, say, standard Millermatic 211 type machine, and you're looking for digital meters for more precise control, the Multimatic 215 is an excellent choice. If you're looking to weld aluminum anytime soon, or you're in an industry like motorsports where you're welding multiple materials like aluminum, steels, Inconels, stainless steel, things like that, the Multimatic 220 is an excellent choice. Or if you're just a home DIY guy looking to have a complete welding solution, the Multimatic 220 ACDC is definitely the way to go.